Welcome to Witch Way, I'm Elise and this is episode 24 of Witch Watch where I am making my way through every witchy film and TV series ever made. Continuing my journey through the very first Witches in Film in Which Way Presents, I watched the very first adaptation of the fairy tale Snow White from 1916, where a witch assists the evil queen in exchange for the heart of Snow White. Moving then into 1920, I watched the film Genuine. A priestess of an old religion is brought at a slave market and imprisoned in a strange house. She seizes her opportunity to escape and bewitches a young man to murder for her. Eventually she finds love, but her dark past soon catches up with her. You can watch both of these films here on my channel under Which Way Presents, but now into some more modern watching and we have the historical horror drama, The Devils. This film is based on the events of the 1634 Loudon possessions. A political power struggle and a sexually repressed nun lead to mass hysteria sweeping through a nunnery and a promiscuous priest is accused of witchcraft. He is held responsible for the demons that have been tormenting the nuns and his prosecutors, though well aware of the truth, stack up the evidence against him through torture. Though inspired by true events, this film portrays it to the extreme. Naked nuns in a sexual frenzy, horrific scenes of torture, and over-the-top historical characters. The sets were purposefully more modern than their 17th century setting, which adds an interesting effect. Four stars for this interesting take on real-world events. Next up is Lords of Salem. This horror follows a radio host who is sent a mysterious record. When it is played, a strange feeling overtakes her. Soon after, she is plagued by strange visions and horrific dreams, and her landlady seems to be hiding something from her. An author and previous guest on her show is intrigued by the record and investigates the tune, leading him to find a link with the Salem Witch Trials and a centuries-old curse. This film had some great sets and was filmed in Salem, though some poor performances outweighed these moments. I feel like this is a love it or hate it film, but I'm somewhere in the middle. So three stars for The Lords of Salem, which you can also go and check out my Witch Law review for. Next up is The Descendants 1 and 2. In these films, the classic Disney villains were exiled to the Isle of the Lost, but their teenage descendants have been given a second chance by those of their hero counterparts. Their plot to free their parents from the Isle is questioned when they start to find their own place in the world and must choose between being good or rotten to the core. I low-key loved the costumes in these films, but the acting, story, song and dance are ever so cheesy, so three stars for these cringy but cute films. Into some TV series now, and I finally started watching season one of Bewitched. This sitcom follows a newly wed couple. The wife reveals she is a witch, but has vowed to give up her witchy ways for life as a housewife. This proves difficult when her mother is keen on interfering with her new normal life, much to the annoyance of her regular husband. This series is definitely a product of its time, an easy and fun watch. Some episodes are quite forward thinking for its time, though others taking it right back again. Three stars for this series, and it's something that you can have playing in the background as you don't really miss much. 36 episodes down, over 200 more to go. Next, I watched season one of the new Charmed series. This reboot of the popular 90s series starts with two sisters who find their mother murdered at their home. Soon after, they are introduced to their half-sister and the three of them are told they are witches, not 
any witches but the Charmed Ones, the most powerful of their kind and the only ones who can prevent the source of all evil from rising. So they must learn to master their new powers guided by their magical mentor while still trying to maintain a normal life. While having the same premise as the original series, they have changed the story enough to modernize it and make it their own. The series emphasizes the importance of the strength of sisterhood, though it can be a little on the nose at times. I thought the CGI might have gotten better since the 90s, but so far in season 1, I am sorely mistaken. Four stars for this reboot, though I hope it gets better leading into season 2. And the last series on the list is season one of The Witch and the Beast. This anime has a mage who is part of a magical organization and he is hunting down witches, begrudgingly assisted by one who has themselves been cursed by a witch. This is the only reason they are helping this magic user in the hopes they will track down the witch responsible. But which witch is which? And will they find the one they are looking for? The animation in this series is gorgeous, and magic in this world can be gained in many ways, used differently by each person to achieve their motives. Good, bad, and morally grey. Five stars for this gorgeous new series based off the manga of the same name. I look forward to season two. I have also just started watching Dead Boy Detectives, so stay tuned in episode 25 for my thoughts on that one. They are few and far between, but I also have a book recommendation, Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. It follows an orphan who was raised in one of the great libraries, places that store magically animated and dangerous grimoires created by dark magic. She hopes to one day be a warden in these libraries, but these librarians don't just shelve books, they transfer them under lock and key, and they carry swords and salt. After experiencing the transformation of one of these tomes into a monstrous creature, her life is changed when false accusations are flung at her, and a young sorcerer transports her into the real world outside the libraries, where she uncovers a conspiracy that could destroy them all. Aided by her new sorcerer companion and his demon familiar, she questions everything she thought she once knew. Working at a library myself, I was enchanted by this cozy young adult fantasy. Have you watched any of these? I would love to hear your thoughts on them in the comments below, as well as what you have been watching or reading lately. Let me also know any recommendations that you have for my upcoming Witch Lore reviews, and I am making my way slowly through some that have already been recommended. If you would like to support what I do here, you can donate via the thanks button, or you can simply complete your Witch Way ritual in liking this video, sharing it with anyone you think might enjoy it, and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already to stay notified of new content. And as always, thank you very much for watching here on Which Way.